Hi friends, this is the latest video on how you can boost your CPU or your computer performance without overclocking and making your gaming experience better. This video covers the ways to increase FPS, fix lag and address 100% CPU usage without investing in expensive gaming uh, setups. But before you start, you should create a restore point uh, so that if something goes wrong, you can revert back to the previous stage. So for uh, creating a restore point, uh, you should go to the start and from here just go to the search and type restore point. You will get an option here in the control panel. Just create a restore point. Now from here, just go down and click on create. You can name it. So I have created a restore point here. Now once that is done, you can move to the process. For that, first you have to go to the start and uh, type in msconfig. We'll get the system configuration here. Just jump on it. Just go to the boot tab and then click on advanced options. From here, you will get the number of processor uh, of your computer or your PC or your laptop. From here, just select number of processor and then click the drop down. This particular PC have got four processor. So you can put it to the maximum. I'm just putting it at four. Now just move to the maximum memory. Just select it and put it at the maximum memory. Once that is done, just click on OK. Now click on apply and then click on OK. Now it will ask you to restart your computer, but you have a long other process to complete. So you will skip that uh, right now and we'll restart at the end. So just click on exit without restart. Now the next step is to uh, make changes in the GP edit where you will be going to disable the power throttling. Now, this GP edit won't be available with uh, the Windows 11 Home Edition. As you can see it here, uh, if you search for GP edit, it will say that the GP edit is not available with Windows 10 uh, Home Edition. So you have to install it. There is a process to install that. I already done a video regarding that. I'll share the link in the description. You can take it from there. If you have a GP edit, you have to go and open the group policy editor and from there you have to disable power throttling section from the power management. But if you don't have that, then there is an easy way to do that. I'll share it here. You can see that there is a rich registry editor file. I'll share this file in the description. You can download it and use this directly. So then you don't have to do all those process going to the GP group policy editor and installing it and doing the process. But from here, just double click on it and then run it. It is safe. This will disable the power throttling. Click on S. So it is successfully added to the registry. So that's done. So that part is done. Now close that. Now next you have to again go to the windows button, start button and from here just type in performance monitor. You'll get it here, just click on it. Now here from the left side listing, just click on data collector set and then click on user defined. Now I have already created a CPU boosting key. If you don't have one, then just right click on user defined and from here just click on new data collector set and you can name it as cpu boost and then you have to select create manually now click on next now from here just uh, select performance counter then you have to click on next then click on the add button make sure this is selected to the processor and from here you have to select the maximum core which is available right now that is three i'm selecting it 
in your case it might be up to 15 or 16 you can select the maximum out of that now click on add now click on ok now click on next now this will ask to save the file in the root directory so click on next then click finish now you can see that it has been created here you can open and check the one which I have already created CPU boosting this has been already created just click on that and if you open it you will see that it is already been created so just showing the process so the same thing is what I have created here CPU boost I don't want both so I am just removing the boost here now you have to do is right click on it and you can start the process once that is done you can close down this window now next is to go to the control panel you will get it here from here look for uh, power options just click on power options by default the power plan will be balanced you have to set it to the high performance plan if you don't have a power performance plan you have to create one i already created a video on that how you can create a power plan i'll share the same link in the description if you don't have you can create it from there now click on the change plan settings then click on change advanced power settings and now again from here just uh, look for pci uh, express just expand that and from here you will get a link state power management just expand it you will see the both options are off if that is on on your laptop or pc just turn that off next one that is processor power management now check what is the minimum processor state you it has to be zero and the maximum process state has to be 100 now once that is done click on apply then click on ok now last not the least the thing you have to do is you have to go and uh, turn off all unwanted applications startup applications that is running on the background for that you just right click on the taskbar settings take taskbar from here you can see that a huge number of applications are running in the pro background so you can just look for the startup apps and you can turn all the unwanted apps from here just right click on it and click on disable so that's it once that is done you can start your computer and see the difference definitely this will boost your computer cpu and you will be able to run your games better so thanks for watching this video please subscribe like and share thank you